Generic greetings, fellow citizens of the internet. This is, of course, Richard, and today I bring you another episode of FOV. I have been off camera doing a bit more fishing. I'm not sure what of this is new, if anything. Um, at least some of it is new, and the quantities have probably changed. Uh, but anyway, I've also been trading just a bit. Unlocked these fellows a bit more. Got him to a very unsatisfactory trade. Um, and got him, uh, past fish trade as well. Uh, he had a fish trade as well. I don't know if that was on camera, but I got him past it. Uh, I also got up to level 30, uh, through fishing. And so I grabbed a sword with the emeralds I had earned and went and enchanted it. Got knocked back too, so eh. Uh, but now I am going to move on to a different project this episode. A very ambitious and interesting long-term project. Um, which I will probably, I don't know, I don't know, we'll, we'll see where it goes, but I'm thinking it's going to be really awesome. Um, I've done a bunch of testing in creative and it looks good so far. Um, but it's going to require a bunch of resources that I do not actually have at the moment. Uh, so it is going to be into the mines for me, uh, and I will go try and wrestle up some more redstone. Uh, so I've got myself some efficiency four and breaking three on a pick that I found that I had in one of my chests, and I just realized that I don't really have any need for the silk touch, given that I don't actually have any fortune. So that's pro I'm actually probably gonna drop that off because I'm not gonna want to risk losing it. Um, but I'm gonna head down and I'm going to grab what I can and hopefully get enough to at least get a good start on the project, and I will be back once I am ready to begin properly tackling it. Alrighty, so I think I've got my resources in order. Um, I was actually able to scrounge up um, 53 redstone blocks uh, by going to Binary Base and Crown Gerardus and all kinds of different places. I managed to find 53 redstone blocks, which I think will be more than enough if I have done my figures correctly. Uh, but we shall soon see if that is, in fact, the case. Um, so now it is time to make some things out of these raw materials. Uh, first off, I need 64 plus 19 repeaters. <sighs> repeaters are very, very expensive. This is definitely something which I have learned. Dupe, dupe, and dupe. But this should be the bulk of the costs for now. Then I need 19, so... Then... Bit like that. And more repeaters that way. Very good. And I'm gonna need one single lone solitary lonely comparator. I will need two sticky pistons. Two sticky pistons, hooray. Two dispensers. So that'll be around like this. Bit like that. If I recall correctly. Yeah, dispenser and dispenser. And then I'm also going to need a dropper, so there's that as well. Uh, Eleven basic, boring, straightforward torches. It's as though I planned it, and honestly, I didn't. <laughs> that there, and... Kablamo! Oh, I'm gonna need two more sticky pistons. Of course, of course. Oh, do I have any glowstone kicking around? I don't think I do. I'm gonna need to harvest some. Um, and that's gonna be pretty much it, aside from some levers, which that should take care of. Oh, and I wanted some, um, nether brick fences as well. Oh, I dropped my pick off at the bloody binary base. Okay, I'm gonna go scrounge up some iron to make some sticky pistons, get prepared for a trip into the nether to grab some glowstone with my silk touch pick, hopefully not managing to drop it in lava in the process. I will try and be as quick about it as possible, because even if I edit this down, it's probably still going to be a bit on the lengthy side, and I really didn't want to spend this entire episode simply dithering about crafting things. It was supposed to be dramatic tension sort of thing, and I'm bad at this at this stage of things, so I apologize, but I will be right back with more interesting things to come. <sighs> Alright, away I go. Uh, with a mostly empty inventory and every intention of running like a baby if anything bad happens because I don't want to lose this pickaxe. Uh, I don't remember. I feel like I saw glowstone around here someplace. Wow, lag. Awesome. 
Hi! I, I'll, I, I will not be messing with you. Such lag! I'm, I'm, hmm. One frame. One frame? One frame. What can one do with one frame? Many things. But not, not play a game, certainly. Okay. Okay, that's, that's more frames. More frames are good. Am I gonna be able to do this? Alright, alright. Me, me. This looks promising. This looks promising over here. Ah, that looks very promising. I should have brought a junk pick so that I'd be able to actually... Hmm. Alright, alright. I might want to stop recording just so that I'll get a better frame rate. But at the same time, if I do die, then that will be big enough that I would want to catch it on camera. So I suppose that I am left with the only possibility, which would then be... Oh look, my old portal. My old part. Blah, 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 blah. My old portal down there. It looks very, very lonely and rejected. Well, it should. It's useless. Stupid. Okay. Uh. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'll grab this. If anything bad happens, I'll bring you back. Alright, returning victorious. I've gotten 10, which is more than I need. I had to watch one sadly go off the edge, and I really... I'm not gonna risk going down and getting it. Uh, which is sad. But, oh well. Uh, they'll, they'll be renewable soon. I'll get a witch farm going or something. Even a, mo a normal mob grinder actually would work nowadays, so that's good. Uh, but... Let's see... Collect all of this stuff. What are you doing, Pigman? What are you doing? What what do you think you're doing with your life? Uh, Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and restart Minecraft or something, see if that helps with this lag, and then I will be right back. Hello there. Yes, yes, that's... This is... Yes, yes. You are correct. You are correct. You are indeed, as a matter of fact, correct. This is the chest full of the delicious goodies, which I have compiled for this occasion. Um, oh, and by the way, yes, I do realize that I was complaining about not having a work pick or, you know, crappy pick, and yes, I had two stone picks on my person. I'm aware of that now, uh, you don't need to correct me. So, um, this stuff, this stuff, what could it possibly be for? Uh, you will see. I'm gonna go ahead and unload all of it from its delectable organization here, and get started with a project in this direction. Cut to when I'm where I need to be. Roop! Right here. Right here. Okay? So, I should have brought an axe to chop this tree down, because it will be in the way, but for now, I will just work around it, uh, or through it. Uh, so, how do I want to I do this? Basically, this is going to be where I want to end up when I'm done with the thing that I'm doing. This seems like... Well, let me, let me, let me check my coordinates. Uh, this is X340, Z100 even. I'm at 88. Maybe I should just go to, like, even... That looks about right to minimize the work that I'll have to do. Okay, I'm, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go with a nice even 86, which is not really all that even, but who cares? Uh, so this is where I want to end up, and for now I am going to ignore this spot, other than for the Y coordinate and the X and Z coordinates, which I will now use to go that way. This humble little patch of earth on the ground here is nothing much at the moment, but in just a few scant moments, it will become something truly awesome. Not really. The dirt itself will just be a patch of dirt, still. 
it's not going to change much. Uh, but I'm going to build from that patch of dirt, uh, using it as a reference. And that, what I, what I build then will be amazing. Um, so how am I going to do this? This is going to be something of a challenge. Designing in creative is far easier than designing in survival. Just for the record, in case you were not aware. Actually, I'll just go ahead and do that. Pop this out and pop that there. How am I going to get down? I didn't bring ladders. I'm an idiot. It's okay. It is all right. I, I can be an idiot. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and... You know what, I'll scrounge up some ladders, pop back in my creative world, check out some of the numbers just to make sure that I've got this correct, and then I will actually get started with building this bloody thing once and for all. Alrighty, abandoning the dirt tower, I'm going to go ahead and pillar up right over here with some ladders on the side so that I'll be able to get up nice and easily. Boop doo, boop doop, boop doop. Badoop, badoop. And I've got a couple screenshots here that I just took out um, in my creative world. Uh, and so I'll be able to hopefully recreate this before your very eyes. I worked quite hard on getting little fiddly gibbets and so forth of the redstone behind it uh, to work properly as intended and so forth. That's not what I meant to do. Go away. Oh, I should definitely make myself a proper set of tools at some point. Ah, I, I could easily have killed myself doing something like that. That is not a smart thing to do. Where am I at? I need to go a bit higher, just a bit higher. Uh, that should be good. And then I'll just place some temporary blocks. These should do nicely. Cross like that. Very nice indeed. Very nice indeed. And then... So let's see. One, two, three blocks down, right? Yeah, okay. So one, two, three or so. So this is, this is actually the right level to be on right now. Very nice. Very nice indeed. I'll take out all this dirt at some point. For now, I'll just get myself some working space. All thoroughly unnecessary. This stage of the game. Let's see. Something a bit like this. A bit like that. Basically, I just want a platform to work on right now. Uh, so... Let me... Okay, so then I want, how do I want to do this? Definitely want a way to get back onto the ladder and off of it. I can take out these three blocks because they will annoy me. I will take out the rest of that dirt later. That is fine. Just for my own future reference, this right here, kaboom! Do you know what I'm doing yet? Of course you don't! You have no idea, unless I've mentioned it at some point, which I might have, in which case you might have some clue if you follow me very closely and are incredibly quickly, quick, quick-witted and quickly whatever I was trying to say. So, ha, huh, basically, what I hope to do, I think I will just go ahead and explain it because keeping you in the dark makes absolutely no sense, uh, I am going to make sort of a runway that will start at this exact block, Doom. Um, and end at the block that I marked off over there at corresponding coordinates. I'm at the right height, aren't I? Yeah, okay, I'm good. Um, so it'll run all that distance, and that is precisely 110 blocks I counted earlier. Um, well, actually, I used the coordinate system, but whatever. Uh, you get the idea. It is 110 blocks, and so therefore it is exactly the right length. The right length for what, you might ask? The right length for my intro! Ha, huh, yes. Uh, I am going to, with note blocks, recreate uh, the theme which I composed a while back, uh, at least in a minimalistic sort of form, and I will set it up so that it will play as I walk along this runway, hallway, whatever I end up making it, uh, and 
should be pretty cool. And that should be how I start off pretty much every episode once I've got it going. Uh, but right now I'm being absolutely useless, sort of standing around gesturing at things, and I need to get this going. So what am I going to do? How am I going to do this? One thing, wool underneath that. I'm going to be using a bunch of wool in this build. Um, drat, my pictures aren't very clear. I will go ahead and get this started, um, and then I will check back once I've got a bit finished, and possibly even I... You know, maybe I'll just get the redstone mostly done. Um, then I'll go over it and uh, show off how it works. I'll be right back. Change my mind, I'm going to build some basic components uh, as best I can on camera, then I will hook them up, and then I will um, do the rest off camera and so forth. I'm trying to get into some better habits here, uh, so that I'm not doing the fun stuff off camera and leaving you guys to just sort of keep up with the updates and so forth. I don't I don't want to just make update videos, I really don't. Uh, so I'm going to be making um, an, an interesting little thing gummy. Uh, should look pretty snappy uh, if it turns out the way I hope. More filler blocks. These probably will mostly get changed out in the long run. Uh, doop and doop. So the general idea here is, see that piston right there? It's There's no reason that this should power it, really. But it does. <laughs> it's great fun. Um, and I could go into great detail about exactly why it does that, because I have a general idea, because uh, it does get bud-powered, and for some reason, because it is a redstone torch, that updates the piston automatically, and so forth and so on, or something. But the cool thing is, uh, without having any block such as this one, without having anything, anything in between or anything like that, I can in fact trip if I can. Yeah, okay. I can trip these pistons by using these levers right here. Very nice, very nice indeed. Uh, and these are dispensers. They will be shooting fireworks because why not? Uh, I'm going to be throwing in, I imagine, long term, I, I'm sort of imagining that I'm going to throw in a whole bunch of those sorts of things. Um, I've got all kinds of crazy, insane ideas about things that I want to have happen, and sound effects that I can include, and that kind of thing. Uh, but at the moment, I'm just going to stick to trying to get this thing built as drawn up in the plans. Doop 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 uh, Then that... Yeah, okay. So there, I need a sticky piston. The block. Then... First of many repeaters. Going like that. Then... Here we go, yep. Uh, the dropper. Of which a lot of this should be done off camera, but whatever. Um... Actually, I can do that. Then there's going to be dust underneath. Let's see if I can do this. Ha! Yes, I can. Awesome. Uh, so the dropper goes up. And hopper goes down. And then... Doot, doot. Doot, doot. Platform. Slabs. For good looks. Let's see. I think... Yeah, I want... So I'm a bit like that, and a bit like that. And this is going to... Th this is going to be the count off right here. Uh, and what this circuit is going to do... Oh, I need my bed. And slap that down. Don't, don't, don't give me a hard time game. It's night enough for me. I sleep when I want to sleep. I prove that in real life often enough. So, um... Yes, this is going to be the count off. Um, and basically, I can't just have the melody start, uh, right when I flick the lever, because otherwise I'm, or at least I don't want to, because I might start at the wrong time, and I'd rather just have a nice count off of, like, four beats, and then know exactly when I want to start walking, uh, so that I'll be able to time everything right, and arrive where I'm supposed to arrive at the precise moment that I want to arrive there. Um, as you can see... 
This is going to be very interesting indeed. So I'm going to continue working on the wiring, and then I will introduce to you roughly what I'm doing and how it is supposed to work. Alrighty, that should be basic infrastructure taken care of. Actually looked a lot simpler. It felt a lot s it it felt a lot more complicated when I was designing it. Uh, but so we've got four items in here. Uh, basically, what's going to happen is this is going to lift up uh, when I unpower that torch with the lever there. Um, that's going to again with the bloody lag. Okay, uh, that's going to create a pulse, which is going to go into the dropper. The dropper will spit an item into the hopper, and before it can be put back down again, uh, dust underneath there will carry the charge through, around, up this makeshift torch tower, um, torch on the other side of there, uh, to this dust, to the repeater, and around, the dust will actually power the hopper, um, and the pulse is long enough and so forth that it actually will not um, cycle back down again, um, and this will end up completing a clock, which will pulse four times, uh, until all of the um, sticks are in the hopper and then this repeater or the um, comparator will turn off because this will be empty and that will turn this torch on uh, stopping the clock and it will also turn this torch on uh, activating this repeater and going into the wool which is underneath the wool block or the note block and then the rest of the note blocks will be rigged to that note block, or the wool block, underneath the note block, I should say. And I'll carry out the signal from there and write down the line. Uh, and these um, two dots of redstone here are activated by that wool block being charged, uh, which will carry power to the dispensers, which will fire. If my tests were any indication, they will actually fire a couple beats late, but that's okay. That was really the only way I could wire them. Um, but it's also going to be pretty cool because it'll just sort of, uh, it'll, it'll, you know, sort of accent not the first note, but like the second or third note, so it'll just, you know, doom, pow, sort of deal. Uh, should be cool. Uh, we'll see. Uh, and then this circuit over here, uh, with this, uh, piston, that powers this repeater, uh, which goes into this torch tower, uh, which, uh, unpowers this piston right here. Basically this turns the clock off, it turns the entire system off. If there's a fault in the system, I'll be able to quickly and easily deactivate it using that. Um, so the clock won't just continue running and I won't have to manually uh, so forth. And it'll, it'll just look, it just looks nice um, to have uh, one of these switches on either side. So let's give it a quick dry run and see if it does what it says on the tin. Yes, that is what I was looking for. A quick count off, four beats, uh, precisely timed, and then the first note. So one more time. A bad example because that was very laggy. Um, all right, so that's that's definitely a good first step forward. I am now going to tackle I'm going to restart Minecraft again, because apparently switching between save files for some reason is causing me extreme lag. Um, I haven't been encountering this before. I don't know if this is a version thing, or if it's always been a problem, but I've just never experienced it, because I don't switch single-player saves that often. Um, one way or another, it's definitely causing a problem for me, so I will restart Minecraft once again, extend this platform out, uh, continue the note pattern, and hopefully get a basic melody in place by the end of the episode. So I'll be right back with that. Ha! <sighs> okay, so I will most likely be continuing this and probably finishing this between episodes and so forth, as I imagine that this one is drawing to a close. Uh, I'll try and edit it down to be a reasonable length. We shall see. Um, but what I've got going here is I've actually added a leading note here, sort of a, you know, to, to lead in the melody. Um, and then it goes into the melody here. Uh, each of these is a wool block with a repeater, with a wool block with another repeater, set to specific delays and so forth. It's actually not that difficult a melody or a pattern, uh, so it was pretty pretty easy to program. 
Uh, and to pack it into the right amount of space, uh, I started doing this kind of thing, uh, getting a little clever with the um, note block placement and so forth. Uh, but basically, you've got specific timings and so forth, and it all comes around ending there and continuing into the next little phrase there. Uh, this is actually going to need to go down an octave, or rather up an octave, because it continues going down and I've sort of hit the bottom of this note block's range. Uh, but I'll sort that out, and this will give you a general idea of where I'm going with it. So if I just reset it and then kaboom. <laughs> it's not much. It's not much. But it's something. Um, it gives you a general idea of where I'm going with it and how I want this to sort of come together. Um, it won't just be this uh, this uh, one instrument in the end. I'll add a I will add a bass part and I also will add uh, the drums, percussion, all kinds of crazy things. Uh, but that is for later. And right now I'm focusing on this one part. So I'm gonna go ahead and try and get that put together by next video or whatever, and we shall see probably head off and do other projects next video um, but I haven't really thought that far ahead so ha huh. yes indeed also I, I apologize if I'm sort of short of breath and so forth I'm, I'm actually very cold it is very cold where I am it is ha huh. New Hampshire gets very cold in the winter but anyway anyway so yes um, I I will I will catch you guys later. I will let you go. Watch other things if you want. Otherwise, um, have fun not watching things. And I will see you whenever you watch another of my episodes next. Huzzah!